Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. You can see there's some stuff going on, some candles and whatnot. I was going to do my 400th review today, but there's a certain ale and it's a little bit too cold than I would prefer to have it. But there is an ale I just got very excited about. Cold is what it needs. It needs a little bit of a chilling to control the sediment. This is Fuller's. 2009 vintage ale and there is a reason to celebrate I finally was able to smell finally in 2014 uh, I'm getting over cold and um, I'm just kind of like yeah finally I can drink something 2009 vintage ale from Fuller's and uh, I'm, I mean there's a whole big thing about these ales and and it deserves look at this I do have a Fuller's cup, but I don't have the proper cup to, to drink these ales in as far as a tulip glass goes. So I got this tulip glass, more of like a brandy style tulip glass. Got a little water in it. But I'm going to use this. I just got this from Otto's Pub and Brewery in State College. Uh, there's a little card in here. It tells you all about the different vintages and what types of material they're made of, um, hops and whatnot. So I'm going to give you a little read on this one. Let's see, I have crafted this every special ale from the finest golden hops, triple malted barley, and of course a unique yeast to, uh, to create a truly extraordinary limited brew. Um, individually packaged and numbered, this is, uh, ooh, this bottle is one of only 160,000 produced. That's not really a lot, but it, at the same time it is for craft, you know, special brews. It's cold down here, if you didn't see the breath. So it's actually pretty cold down here, so I figure what the hell. 2009 edition marks the 12th year of this uh, brew being brewed. So that's awesome. There we go. And this comes in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. I have another one of these. Oh yes I do. Yes I do. I have another one. So let's get this off. Okay. Nice. Oh, I ripped it. I ripped it. it. I'd like to see what this bottle cap looks like. Um, I'm gonna have to clean off the bottle cap for you because there's a little bit of a. Uh, this will go for a while. Well, this this review will go for a little bit. Um, sometimes I think they have very special bottle cap covers for certain ales that they brew. So I think this one will have some kind of either the Griffin or whatever. I don't mind if this review takes a while and, and we have to do a couple of takes, so that's fine. Um, yeah, it looks like it's got the Griffin in the middle. So, nothing too special to, that I can show you about. I mean, I'm sure you've seen this style cap before. Hopefully that was going to come off either. So this is bottle number 1725. 1.9 fluid liters, 1 pint, 0.9 fluid liters. Special edition 2009 bottle conditioned. Yeah, I don't want to shake it up too much either. And of course, John Keening, he recommends that this ale gets aged for about five years to let the complexity, the different alcohols, ethanols, and um, oils to come out in the ale and to give you the, what you need to experience this with. So, there it is. It is now off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. If you haven't, t if you haven't been able to tell, I'm excited. Nice and easy. Let's try not to disturb too much. I'll try to get another pour out of there. Okay, let's see. Murky, cloudy, um, kind of a almost getting a deep. It's weird. In the in the parts of it, I'm getting like a deep orange hue, and then I'm also getting nice um, amber colors at the, at the, in, the, in the center, so it's got different colors uh, around the glass. It's the first time I've used this glass, so. Oh wow, okay. I'm getting a lot of rich, 
brown sugars, caramels, molasses, faint bit of, I want to say licorice, definitely getting some, some fruits. <sighs> yes, I'm getting a, a kind of almost a tangerines. What is that? It's not tangerines. What is that? Oh, it's like a jelly. Like a kind of um, a preservative. Um, an orange preservative jelly. I guess they call it marmalade. Eh, maybe it's marmalade. Mar I'm getting raisins. Mmm, sweet fruits. Oh, oh. Hey. But then you're getting those nice toasts and caramels and, and toffees, those lovely characters too. So I'm excited about this. Um, cheers to everybody. Um, cheers to all my English friends. Cheers to just all my friends in general on, on BeerTube. Um, I'll have to see what time it, uh, we, we've amassed from me babbling. But this is something I've been really, 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 really looking forward to. And I didn't think I'd ever get the chance to drink this. So, cheers. That's, that's glorious. So we're back. This is luscious, luscious. Yeah. I mean, it has a little bit of that, 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 that medium thin mouthfeel, but the character is so big. You're getting wrapping, wrapping bits of vanilla sweetness. The, those stewed fruits, the marmalade that I talked about. Then you're getting all those caramels, those real rich, nice, thick caramels. Hints of that molasses, hints of the brown sugar. Very good um, barley wine qualities. Very low carbonation, which makes it kind of silky, it kind of lets it linger a little bit. Well crafted, earthy, woody notes. No taste in the alcohol. You get floral notes from the alcohol more so than in the taste. They're coming off as bright floral notes, but you don't get any burn. Um, I'm assuming if I drink this enough, I'll start getting a little bit of a warming in the chest, but there's no real big boozy notes to me. Everything has calmed down. You're getting these nice lifted um, toffee caramels that are coming up, mixing with that vanilla. So it's very candy-like. I'm worried about the battery dying, but I will tell you now, this is a masterpiece of an ale. I'm not trying to blow smoke up your butt. The, it, let them age for five years. This is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, they make it every year. <coughs> Obviously, it's a different um, variety, but it's a limited edition. They make it every year. I'm going to give it a 9.5. I know it's not something you can grab all the time, and it's very rare. 9.5, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, I'm probably going to do Parabola for my 400th, but I'm going to save this for a little bit, and you're probably going to see this review after my 400th. Um, maybe. I might make this my 400th, because this is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. These rich, sweet candies. You have the floral candies, the, the the floral fruity candies. Then you have those sensuous um, Werther's original. I hate to say candies, but I'm trying to give you that kind of butterscotch notes, butterscotch caramel, and that vanillas, that butterscotch. Mm, something that's just so savory.
I think this glass helps. I'm really glad I used it. A um, little bit on the table just to make it genuine. Okay. This has been Paul from Pam News. Thank you very much. Nine out of uh, nine point five out of ten. Excellent stuff. Fuller's been to jail. Comes in a box too. If you're in the in the U.S. and you find it, definitely worth the price. Well, I didn't even turn on the fucking music. That's how excited I am for this. I don't care. I might even put music into it. I don't care. Anyway, cheers. <laughs>